Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. Um, first off, I want to apologize for not getting a video up this past Tuesday. If you can't tell by my voice, I am sick. I feel like literal donkey duty. Like, I really wanted to get this video up before PPU wishlisting goes live uh, Sunday evening. So here we are. So today's video is for the April 2023 polish pickup. The theme this month is flowers. All the products featured in today's video were sent to me by the brands for the purpose of swatching and reviewing. This video is also sponsored. As always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. I will have timestamps in the description box. All the information you need for PPU also down there. Let's get into this video. First up, we have Bees Knees Lacquer with Belladonna Berries. Bees Knees Lacquer was inspired by the book Belladonna by Adeline Grace, and this one is described as being a deep turquoise polish with a purple to green multi-chrome shimmer. It is priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. I love the shimmer in this polish. It has a very pinky purple to gold to green color shift in person. It is just absolutely gorgeous. You do not get any brush strokes through that shimmer either. The base on this one is a super deep turquoisey teal base. I found that it leaned a little bit blue toned. Definitely make sure to wear base coat with this one. I thought for sure it was going to be a stainer, but I did not personally experience any staining. This one's going to be a two to three coater depending on personal preference. I swatched this one in two coats, but I found out in natural lighting, I could see a lot of unevenness that I wasn't seeing indoors. Nails are significantly longer than mine. You will definitely want to go in for three coats to cover up any visible nail line. Next up, we have Cameo Colors Lacquers with- Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Cameo was inspired by a fun and funky floral print. This one is described as being an ultramarine crelly base with a pink, red, copper, green shifting shimmer, gold slush pink shifting flakies, neon hex glitters, neon circle glitters, and silver holographic micro flakes. It is priced at $12 for 15 ml and has no cap. Can You Dig It had a really great formula. It was slightly on the thicker side, but overall very easy to use. I love, love, love ultramarine blues. Like this is one of my favorite shades of blue and this polish was absolutely gorgeous. I was a little bit disappointed because you do not get a lot of the neon glitters out on the nail. I ran this one through my nail polish shaker three times and I still was not getting very many glitters out. Did talk to Cameo about that. According to Cameo, the neon glitters are not supposed to be super dense on the nail. She will be adding more glitters to the customer batch to make up for all the glitters that get stuck to the sides of the bottle. I swatched this one in three coats plus a glossy top coat. It will be a two to three coater. I did find that the third coat added opacity as well as deepening the base, but it is not 100% necessary. Necessary. Next up, we have Cleona Cosmetics with Celosia. Polish is described as being a pink linear holographic with a pink, red, orange, yellow shifting shimmer. It is priced at $13 for 11.5 ml and has no cap. Celosia had a fantastic but thicker formula. It was the kind of thickness that adds to opacity and not difficult application. I was really surprised at how opaque this one was. It was just shy of being a one coater on me. However, if you have shorter nails than me or you aren't bothered by visible nail line at some angle, this could be a one coater. The shimmer and holographic in here are both super duper strong. As is normal with linear holographics, that this is going to be most holographic in bright direct lighting, like the sunlight, which is what I'm showing here. I swatched this one in two coats plus glossy top coat, and I had no issues with my top coat dulling the holographic. Next up is Crystal Knockout with Allium for the Ages. This one is described as being a pink lavender crelly base with blue, purple, and pink iridescent flakes. Purple blue shimmer as well as black micro glitter is priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a pretty good formula. I did find it to be on the thicker side, so I did opt to add a little bit of thinner to my bottle. I found once I added thinner that this one had a much better application for me, and I did let the brand know that this one was on the thicker side, so hopefully that will not be an issue for customer bottles. I didn't really like this one very much. I feel like the color of it is not really for me, and then I feel like the black glitters made this one look like fungus for some reason. We recognize that is very random, but that was that was the first thought that I had. I was like, oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Because of the thickness, I opted to only swatch this one in two coats, plus both glossy and matte top coats. The glitters did not seem to dry down like super textured, so I did one thicker coat of glossy top coat, and that seemed to smooth everything out nicely. Removal is not going to be overly difficult, but I would still recommend the soak off method. Next up is Fair Maiden Polish with Dilly Dahlia. Fair Maiden Polish was inspired by a multicolored Dahlia, and this one is described as being an orchid based purple with a blue purple green shifting shimmer. It is priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has no cap. Dilly Dahlia had a fantastic jelly formula. Because this one is in a jelly base, you will really want to build it up to get the most opacity. 
I did find coverage pretty great in three coats, but I did have very obvious visible nail line, particularly in brighter direct lighting. In low lighting, the shimmer in here is just so strong and so glowy that you won't see your visible nail line. But once you get out into like brighter lighting, it will definitely be noticeable. You can see here what I meant by like in bright direct natural light, like you can definitely see visible nail line. But as I move into the shade, which is right here, like the shimmer is like strong, strong. So I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy top coat. I fully expected this one to be a stainer, but I did not personally experience any staining. I had a very strong feeling people are going to be curious at how this one compares to some of the Bees Knees purple bases with that green blue shimmer. I didn't find anything exactly the same in my collection, but the most similar that I found was their customer appreciation polish for 2023. And now we have KB Shimmer with Rose Were the Days. KB Shimmer was inspired by roses, and this is described as being a deep magenta leaning polish with pink and red undertones. It has a vibrant orange to gold shifting shimmer as well as hollow flakes. It is priced at $12 for 15ml and has no cap. The polish had a fantastic formula. I was pleasantly surprised at just how opaque it is. Just everything about this polish was literally just love for me. I love the base color. I love the shimmer. I love the flakies. Just love, 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 love everything. It was, however, slightly on the thicker side, but that kind of thickness that adds to opacity and not like difficult in application. I do think this one is going to be a two coater for pretty much everyone. I could potentially see people with super long nails needing a third coat, but I think most people are going to be good in two coats with this one. And we all know KB Shimmer has released a lot of pink base polishes with shimmer and holographic, so I did pull out quite a few of them for comparison. I didn't personally own anything that I would say if you have this, you definitely do don't need this polish. The most similar color wise I think is Totally Stoked, but Totally Stoked is definitely more red tone than this one. Baby Shimmer also has a sugar scrub available this month called Pink Lotus in Lime. It is priced at $10 for 9.5 ounces. I have the scent description written on the screen right now. The fragrance on this one is a very floral one, but it's also slightly sweet. I do not generally care for floral fragrances, but I found that this one is just sweet enough to get me to like it. And the final polish I have is by Night Owl Lacquer, and this one is called Pink Moonstone. Night Owl Lacquer was inspired by the Pink Moonstone Orchid, and this one is described as being a clear base filled with a bright blue micro flake, as well as vibrant fuchsia to peach to gold shifting shimmer. It is priced at $13 for 15ml and has no cap. Holy moly, this polish is gorgeous. So this one had a fantastic formula. Because this one is in a clear base, you do need to build it up to get the most opacity. For my full hand swatches, I swatched this one in three coats. I personally loved it in two coats, but three coats brings you to get a lot more opacity. The shimmer and micro flakes in here are just 10 out of 10, absolutely gorgeous. You practically get an entire rainbow on the nail. I found in brighter direct lighting when the shimmer is like less strong, you can really see the blue micro flakies. It kind of gives the polish a blue base kind of look. As I mentioned, I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy top coat, no issues on removal. So that is it from me this month for PPU. I do believe I have one more polish on its way, which is the Heather's Hughes. I'll make a YouTube short and an Instagram reel for that one. I just really wanted to get this video up uh, before PPU wishlisting goes live tomorrow. I am hoping to get back on my posting schedule for next week, so I'm going to continue on making some videos. Thank you all for watching. And again, all the sale information is in the description box if you would like to shop PPU. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.